Coach, can I ask you about the fountain of youth? We see it with obviously Bernard Hopkins, who's doing stuff we'll never see again. And now I see it in Mayweather as well, 36, and he's looking really young. Guys taking care of themselves. There's nothing fancy or special. It's just guys who take care of themselves. It pays off for them later. But we don't see that all the time. Yeah, because young guys get to moving fast and spending that money and partying. And the after party is big as the fight. What surprises you the most when you walk in the gym and you work with B-Hop? The thing that's always taking me back about Bernard, and the thing I'm most fascinated about Bernard is his sustained focus. I've never seen Bernard give way to a bad sparring session. That's phenomenal. Over all these years, how do you get up for every sparring session? Nobody gets up for every sparring session, but he does. I've never seen anybody take advantage of him sparring. He finds a way. When he's having a bad day, he finds a way to do something different and not let the kid just have his way with him. I know, speaking of sparring, he told me that he sparred Gabe Rosado, and now Rosado, and um, he was talking to Austin Trout about fighting. What do you think about that? Rosado mentally is a tough kid. He's well coached by a, a young guy to fill it up in. And, and Rosado creates a problem for anybody. And what can you tell us about the young fighter over here? This young man here, Demetrius Hopkins. Demetrius is like a lot of young guys in the sport where they actually don't know how talented and what they're capable of. But I feel like he's starting to learn it. He's starting to get a better understanding. What do you think about his fight with Charlo? How do you beat a young, rising guy like Charlo? By Demetrius being the best Demetrius Hopkins he can be. I think people will realize what Demetrius Hopkins is. Demetrius, do you have any personal opinion on Charlie as a fighter? No, the camp was good. Um, I'm ready. Um, I'm ready to show the world uh, that I'm the best one for the other. Okay. You, people have known you, really far boxing, known you for a while. Um, what have been just some of kind of your highs and maybe even lows throughout your boxing professional career? Um, I'm starting to, you know, uh, you know, live right, eat right, um, you, know, um, you know, stay in shape. You know, you know, when I'm not fighting, you know, I, I, I stay in the ring, I'm staying in the gym, you know, and working out. And, and uh, my last fight, I never, I never took off. What is camp like in Philly for you? Take us behind the scenes, like how was it? Uh, it, was, it was fun, you know, there was a lot of uh, discipline.